Hi everyone, it's me, Kaliva the Peace Dancer. I'm here at Santana Row about to do yet another rogue performance of dance here. <laughs> In my mind, peace is welcome everywhere. So before I do, I want to just tap in with people and let you guys hear my experience of not being perfect. If you're like me, it can really hurt when you make mistakes, do things wrong, and when your plans do not turn out the way you planned. For, I know a lot of people out there, I can't be the only one, when that happens, it can be rough, it can be really tough, um, it can make you feel like you're not bright or like you're not worthwhile when mistakes happen, but I wanted to tell a funny story of one of my mistakes that happened earlier this week that I thought anyone could relate to. My mistake had to do with taking my own peace away by taking things personally and getting offended easily. One of my clients told me last week that she was having her hair cut and needed to meet a half an hour later. But when I'm driving to her house, half an hour later, as we discuss, she calls and says, are you almost here? And I'm like, yeah, you told me to come at this time. And she literally said, I never said that. In my mind, we have a rapport, we're friends. She already knows that I'm gonna call if I'm never gonna be there. So I was so hurt that you know, she she didn't remember, you know, talking to me about this and I really took it personally. Like, how could she ever think that I would come late without telling her first? But also, just a week before, we had talked about her diagnosis of dementia. And I forgot all about that in my rush to like be right and let, you know, our rapport stand and get mad at her about these things so it's always a mistake to take offense it's never ever your fault if somebody says or does something that you don't like and i just hope that by sharing that um you guys can get a little bit out of it because like i was so upset about it i was like almost in tears i was like having an emotional day anyways and that happened and I was like, oh my gosh, how could she think that? And I really took it personally and it made the incident like last way longer than it needed to. And I think that, you know, we all have been there. So protecting the peace that's already inside of you by not getting offended and not taking things personally, even though it is the most natural thing to do, we can train ourselves otherwise and we can keep the peace. How do we train ourselves? Otherwise, what can we do instead? The secret is realizing that you, me, we, everything in the world is energy. So I'm basically like made of energy. I'm a certain quality of energy. I'm a certain feeling, you might want to say. If I'm feeling something, all this fear and anxiety and like all these things, and I don't want to feel that, I can actually change my energetic focus to something that makes me feel at peace. If that's how I want to feel. If not, we're allowed to feel however we want. So that's the secret is our mega powers of focus. We can use the breath to wield those powers. And it's just one simple way that we can come to peace. So much, much love and I'll see you out there. Bye.